In this video, you're going to learn my best card trick. Imagine cleanly taking a deck of cards, waving your hand over it, and the whole deck visually changes face up. You then go through the cards one by one, and the spectator's card is the only one that's face down. But before I show you the performance and tutorial, I need to tell you about the incredible magician who invented this trick. A man that many say has the greatest sleight of hand the world has ever known. In the mysterious world of magic, there exists one man who could control a deck of cards better than anyone else. A man who redefined card magic and invented many of the moves that we magicians use today. His name was Cardini. From England, Cardini. The world's greatest manipulator. It was said that he could produce cards from thin air, smoother and cleaner than any magician had done before him. It was said that he could make cards effortlessly float in between his hands in ways never seen before. And in this video, I'm going to teach you one of his best moves and gift you its incredible secret. Watch carefully and don't let this fool you. The magician has a deck of cards and displays both their front and their back. As you can see, all the cards are different. However, to make things even more random, he shuffles the cards and instructs the spectator to freely choose one. In this case, they've chosen the Ace of Hearts. This is genuinely a free choice, and then the card is returned somewhere into the middle of the deck. Everything is clean and fair. The magician then waves his hands over the cards and they visually turn face up. All except for one card. And it's not just any card, it's the spectator's ace of hearts. This is a devilishly simple trick. Let's learn the secret. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Very quickly, before I teach you this trick, if you want to learn some of the greatest tricks and slights ever created, and just tricks that are simply too good to reveal here on YouTube, then please check out my course, Card Magic Pro. Inside, I teach you everything you need to know about card magic. We start off at the very basics, from holding cards, cutting cards, shuffling cards, and all that fun stuff. And then we work our way up to literally the best card tricks ever created. It's the most popular card magic course in the world with thousands of reviews. And it will teach anyone card magic in the fastest way possible. It also really does help support the channel if you get the course. And it helps me keep making more videos like this. So if any of that sounds interesting, then please check out the course by clicking the first link in the description. Anyway, let's learn how the Cardini change works. This trick uses a regular deck of cards. Display them to your spectator in any way that you like. Here, Wade is doing a thumb fan. The first move you need to do is secretly flip over the bottom card. If you're a beginner, you can simply just start the trick with the bottom card already flipped over and just skip this part. However, for the more advanced magicians who want a bit of a challenge, this is how it works. Get a pinky break under the bottom card and then pull that card down whilst turning it over. It is important that your other hand covers the deck of cards as you do this, as this will provide cover and make it more invisible. Again, you just pull the card down with your pinky and then simply flip it over with your fingers. You don't want to be rotating your wrist too much as it will make it obvious what's happening, so this move all happens in the fingertips. From here you can just shuffle the cards, keeping the one that you flipped over on the bottom of the deck. And at speed it looks like this. You display the cards, do the flip, and then go straight into the shuffle. Again, you can just start with the card on the bottom of the deck face up if this is too advanced. Once you've done the flip, allow the spectator to select a card, and as you show it to them, you need to flip over the entire deck. There's an easy way and an advanced way to do this. Let's start off with the advanced way. So this is where you do a half deck flip. To do this, your first finger comes under the deck and pushes it up. You build up pressure, and then when you release the pressure with your fingers, the deck will flip over. There's not much technique to this, you just have to practice doing it over and over again. So start off with a rubber band and just wrap it around the cards and practice flipping the deck over before doing the actual thing without the rubber band. The misdirection here is that the spectators are looking at their card, allowing you to quickly flip over the deck without them ever knowing. The easier version goes like this. Allow the spectator to choose a card and as you show it to them, you just need to rotate your whole body whilst subtly flipping the cards over. The big movement of rotating your body covers the small movement of you flipping over the cards. 
From here, all you need to do is place their card back somewhere into the middle of the deck. Now we need to learn the Cardini change. This is hyper visual. Place your little finger on the bottom corner of the deck and apply some pressure to the top card and pull it to the side. You'll notice that as you pull it to the side, it will start to pop up. Start off just doing this slowly to get the muscle memory, and then once you've built that up, start speeding it up. Again, this is a very simple move, but it just requires muscle memory, so you need to practice it over and over again. Now to perform the change, you just need to do this move under the cover of your other hand, which hides the card that pops up, and this creates the illusion that the deck has visually turned face up. From here, you can just square up the cards and then spread through them to reveal that the spectator's card is the only one which is face down. This is a really beautiful card trick, and thank you to Wade for performing it. Check out his channel in the description. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And again, if you want to learn some of the best card tricks ever created, then please check out Card Magic Pro by clicking the first link in the description.